Hey everyone, just wanted to show you something I've been messing with in Terraria. So I've got a massive freaking amount of water over here. And what I'm gonna do is release it into the underworld. As you can see by the spawning imps here, I'm pretty close to the underworld. Which, if you didn't know, it's at the it's a place full of lava, the bottom of the Terraria map. What's special about this is that when la water hits lava, it turns into obsidian. Just like in Minecraft, which obsidian is actually really useful in this game. So that is good, and it makes the underworld, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, safer. Okay, lava hurts, by the way. Didn't, I don't I don't know if you knew that, but it hurts. Do not fall into large pits of lava. Okay, so let's pop the cork on this baby. So these imps don't kill me. Fortunately, water doesn't kill the imps. Also, I'm drowning. I have been drowning a lot. Once I pop the cork, I'll show you the amount of water we're dealing with here. It's a lot. So, I guess you could call that popped. Come here. I want to kill you, little bastard. Come here. I'm so going to murder the shit out of you. There. Okay. And I have the flippers so I can swim in water. Even in a waterfall. Let's see this. Aw, oh, not into a house. What is hurting me? Oh. Right. This stuff. Don't flow into the house. Stupid, oh my god. It was a terrible, terrible, terrible mistake to bring my water candles for this trip. I usually have them just so more monsters spawn. Um, I wasn't really thinking about it, because at the moment more monsters is not actually a good thing. It's actually an annoying as shit thing. Which is not good. Crap. ERB. I'm retarded. Alright, so I said I had a lot of water. I really have a lot of water. So, here's one of the basins I believe I'm drawing from. So this goes down to here. Unfortunately, the water flow is kind of slow. But it's, it's trying its hardest. So yeah, it flows down here. All the way into- oh no! No, 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 no. I didn't think it would fill up this high. That's excellent, but it's not what I wanted. Well, it's great considering how much water that actually means I've gotten here. Yeah, this is the basin at the top of, pretty much, from down here, pretty much all water. And there's more on the left side, actually. So yeah, this is all water, and this should all... Pretty slowly. Ooh, more obsidian. I originally started doing this for the obsidian, but now I just want to flood the uh, underworld because it obsidian is really helpful and stuff. But I should have enough now for the hellstone that I have. But I just wanted to flood the overworld, just, or the underworld, just for the fun of it, and it should make it a little bit easier down there too. Uh, so as you've noticed, you might have noticed. I made these little breathing chambers because it. I've pretty much been working entirely underwater, which gets really annoying. Here is another basin. Um, I had to trap this in because it was flowing up into this other chamber. Which is more obsidian over there, but. Uh, if I played my cards right, the entire. Well, not the entire, but some of the overworld, the underworld, should be flooded pretty damn good, so I should be set for obsidian. And at the same time, most of the. Um, at least a fair amount of the. Underworld should be now safe. I'm thinking. I'm hoping. That was sort of the point. Well. I wasn't really intending to do this initially, but... I found a ton of water, and I realized... Um, you use relatively little water when you're... Draining, um... Or when you're turning lava into obsidian. As you can see here. You lose lots of lava, and you keep lots of water. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay. And I forgot to ditch... Yeah, I forgot to ditch the water candles. That's great. 
uh, one thing I hate about this game is the, um, you know that X? You see the X on items when I've used the healing item? It slowly fades away, but before it disappears completely, it's just barely visible, and it seems, it seems like it's not there, but it is just barely there. So I click on, I try to use that item again, but the cooldown hasn't actually stopped. So, yeah, if that makes sense, it's really annoying. Stupid goblins, or imps, whatever you are. I don't care, I just hate you. So, uh, ooh, damn. So, yeah, I don't know how much of the underworld will actually fill up with water, but... God damn it. It's looking like it's going to be a sizable amount. Also, if I could get a second to think, I need to equip my obsidian skull. Should have brought my... No, I guess the breathing reed is fairly useless. Stupid houses! Stop stealing my water. You... You are a water thief, sir. I do not... I do not tolerate that. Also pain. Horrible, horrible pain. That's a big tower. See, so yeah, I don't think it'll reach past this tower here, unfortunately, but we're looking at a good portion of the underworld flooded in, and all the obsidian I could possibly want, which is very nice. I was having trouble finding obsidian, but... No, wait, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I hate you so much. Stupid bone serpent. These guys are pretty tough, and they never drop the... They have a bunch of rare drops, but they're rare, so I haven't got them yet, so... Oh my god, two of them! Are you shitting me? This is not fair. Do I have explosives? I never use explosives. But they're a good idea against these. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, stop attacking me for a quarter of a second, please. Okay, okay, this is not working. Okay, flee. Actually kill. I want, I want these ones. I want these two dead. Then I will flee. Die, 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 die. Please die. Yes! And you too. Actually, I don't think the imps drop anything. I think they might drop the fire flower, which I do really want. Okay, so it'll probably take for freaking ever for this to all flow down. So I'll just let you guys... Chill. Um, I may do a f I may do an addendum at the end of this video if and when it all drains down, but let's just take a peek at how much water is actually left. It's it's freaking a lot. It's like um, the basins I drained this from it was only like three or four fairly large ones, like um not one single basin I drained was more than this room, and I only drained um, four or five. I kept trying to keep draining water just down in general. I guess it just all drained down to here, which is good. Also, monsters don't drown, which is very unfortunate because this is really annoying. But yeah, I flooded the hell out of hell. Or the underworld, so... That is sweet. Oh, crap! Also, I can't see. What did you... Oh, no. I wasted some water. I tried to make sure I had a, as big a b basin to fill up stuff as I could. Which, uh... Might have gone slightly overboard on that in uh, retrospect. Might have gone slightly overboard. But... I'm just excited to see the results. This should be fun. I also drained some water from... one of the original basins was up here. Anyway, we'll pause. I have good news and I have bad news. Um, well, good news is that this basin here is drained. You might not recognize it, but this is the big basin I made that was almost completely full of water before. Well, no, it was full up to about where I was before, but yeah, this was all full of water. It looks like it's all settled now. 
actually, I think what happened was, um, okay, so the reason there were so many monsters before was that actually I was still on, I was still hosting a server. So, yeah. Server, and anytime you're in a server, there are going to be more monsters regardless of how many people. It looks like you get about 2.5 times as many monsters. Because usually I would get two imps down here at a time. But I was getting up to five imps. And multiple bone serpents at the same time, which is very annoying. So, yeah, not completely flooded, but... Oh, also another thing, um, I'm pretty sure that when you um, reload a world, all of the liquids settle, so what I was doing was kind of dumb to wait for it manually. Um, if you were to do this on your own, just set up the water so it'll fall, uh, exit the world using save and exit, and come back, and the liquids should all settle. So, yeah. I'm kind of also kind of glad that the over the underworld isn't completely submerged because that would actually make mining the hellstone a massive pain in the butt because I would have to constantly come up for air. I was kind of worried. This is my um my real the world that I like to play. It's my first world. So, it's got some sentimental value and it's my only my only house that I've made is in here. So I didn't want to completely destroy the underworld, but uh, I did. It's not completely destroyed, but I wanted to still be able to mine Hellstone, and it looks like I can. There's... There's actually a lot that's untouched. Actually, I will uh, bring up a map. I have a map-making utility. I'll bring up a map and show you where all the water spread. It's not really that far across the whole world, but it's a lot of water, I hope you realize. Ah, yeah, I knew it wouldn't go over this. Oh, and it trapped all the water in there. Yeah, the homes are annoying, because they trap in the water. But I guess so does this gigantic empty chasm. I was hoping it would spoil a lot more lava, like spill over the whole of the world, and like save my butt from some lava. But it didn't, didn't, it didn't. Oh well. And I'll show you that map real quick. Alright, since I know someone will ask, Oh, how did you do the map thingy? Um, how you get a picture of your, like a map of your world is, you download a thing called Terraria World Viewer. I found it, um, I basically googled it. There's a reference on the wiki. And you find your world by going into your My Documents thing, into documents, my games. Yeah, it's one of those fucking games that saves its game files in your my documents folder. Instead of the app data folder, which that is exactly for, you're not supposed to save your stupid shit in people's documents folders. Anyway, you go in here, you go to Terraria, Worlds, mine was a World 1. So yeah, that's what that, yeah. And the image is right here. So, yeah, uh, barely splash in the pond, but, uh, well, drop in the bucket, I suppose the saying is. But, yeah, zoom in a bit. That, all of that water, that's all it covered out of, you know, all of this. I was thinking maybe I hit a bug that was infinite water, but it obviously wasn't. But to show you how much water I actually did gather, this whole, well, not that. This whole thing was all full up right around in here. And all of that was completely full. And all of that drained down to here. Oh, hey, I filled up some weird passage thingy here. That's neato. Anyway, that was... It looked impressive until you see it on the map. But... The maps in this game are kind of massive, as you can kind of see. But anyway, that was kind of fun.